Quad 6.6, um, version 3 of the Warpig. I think this is enough of an update to actually call it a, a new version, but what you can see here is instead of having, so when we're doing a diamond orientation, instead of just having the top and the bottom screw holes, now I've got the, the side ones also. So what that lets you do is it lets you mount these uh, whoop style boards in more of a native um, orientation here. And it's kind of nice because there is clearance here that if the USB port like on these flywood boards is um, not, you know, if it's sticking downward then you've got room for it to clear that way and um, you can mount it right side up. Um, in this case, I just happen to mount this one, uh, rotate 180 degrees just to get the uh, camera wires to reach more easily. But um, yeah, I'm kind of like caving in because although there's a couple of those Zeus style boards out there now, um, those seem to be for like higher amperage, um, but for these like 1 and 2S boards, it just seems like we're going to have to deal with this whoop board and it is what it is. Um, and so anyways, I think that gives you like a little bit more convenience if you're going to be switching motors and things like that. Um, the other thing you can do too is, you know, if you want to build this up and not deal with a zip tie canopy, you know, these little guys, um, any type of whoop canopy now is going to work on these because you've got those extra points. Um, this frame is going to be, um, it's slightly, the final version is actually slightly different. Uh, Ryder and I thought that this looked a little chunky um, with it like this, so what we actually did is pushed these up and down bars, pushed them in just a tiny bit. These ears are, does make the ears look a little bit longer, but it just makes the whole frame look a little bit sleeker, and it's a, it's not a structural thing. I don't, it, I don't think it changes the structure at all, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't change the weight, but it makes it a little bit sleeker, and honestly, if you're buying Warpig frames or Skyrider frames, you, you've probably scoured the internet to find this stuff, and I, I figure if you've done that kind of work, you deserve these little details to make this a little bit nicer looking. Um, also, that gives you the option too, so if you build this up, you know, with a 16 by 16 stack, then what you can do is, you know, if you want to keep it nice and sleek, is then you can cut the little ears off, grind them off, or do whatever you want to do. So, this really makes this a very universal frame, because now you can do um, normal 25 by 25.5 by 25.5 whoop style. You can do it um, diamond. You can also do it square. You can also do 16 by 16 or 20 by 20, and you know you can pretty much mount anything on this frame, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, that's version three. Um, that's about that's about it on this. Um, I do have a, I'm, I'm way behind on videos, this month was crazy, but, um, so I've got a bunch of stuff, I'm going to talk about these motors, these are actually the 1202.5, 5000KB, find these on the 3S, a couple other things I'm going to talk about, but, um, I will give you some videos, but, anyways, Warpig version 3, there it is, it's up on Armatan, um, until next time, cheers.